Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 5 Royal. And in the last episode, I beat God and well luckily it allowed me to have a save point so I can actually get started after instead of having to cut up things and try and have multiple episodes from one recording. So let's get started. I didn't expect to find the world's savior alone on Christmas Eve. Oh, hi, Sai. How you been? Can I talk to you for a minute? Well, sure. I got nothing else to do. I mean, it's Christmas Eve and all. Stores are closed. First off, thank you for taking my request. Oh, no problem at all. With your actions, I can only hope that public opinion changes. It will change, won't it? Well, it kind of has to, because the public opinion before was, we didn't exist. I believe so too. Uh, yeah, I mean, change the world's heart? Yeah. Yeah, are they selling... Shido confessed to a variety of crimes. <laughs> we can arrest him on those charges. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Just wondering... That was going to happen or not. The problem lies in proving him guilty. Hmm. Oh, so you kind of need a witness. It'd be difficult unless the correlation between the metaverse and the mental shutdowns is made. Oh, yeah. Kind of need that. So you kind of need e expert testimony. I'll be blunt. You want me to testify? I want you to turn yourself in to the police. Oh, yeah. That part, where I went to the metaverse, changed people's hearts. Escape police custody part also. I turn myself in. Your testimony will be necessary in order to prove Shido guilty. However... That would mean charging, charging me with violating my probation. That will mean placing you on center stage. You'll be treated as a hero who saved this country. And broke the law. But there's no way that the police or the public prosecutors will let that slide. Mm-hmm. Of course. If you turn yourself into the police, you'll definitely be arrested. Yep. I'll close all the cases surrounding Shido. I intend to expose them all. Alright, so basically to truly bring justice, I must be brought to justice myself. It's to prevent society from becoming distorted again. That's what you want too, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if we change the world's hearts, wouldn't that mean we change the hearts of the police also? Uh, can you give me a day or two? I mean, it's Christmas Eve. Once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police, of your own accord. Well, of course, if I turn myself in, it might give me a lighter sentence. There's no need for that. Wait, Akeshi's alive? You. Yeah, somehow he survived. The perpetrator, there'll be no need for him to turn himself in, no? Well, technically true. You are the, you are the murderer. And you would fit the bill of someone who knows about the metaverse. Yeah. That appears to be the case. Oh yeah, we we still had that promise. You said there's no need. Well, you need a well, you need someone to testify against Shido, someone who has experience in a in a relationship between the metaverse and the real world. Akeshi fist that bill. Just what do you mean by that? Exactly as it sounds. Yeah, and with him being the Justice Arcana, it wouldn't be justice if he just got away scot-free. I'll agree to testify against Shido and his crimes. After all, he helped, he helped do some of those crimes. I assume that works for you? Absolutely. 
bring yourself in. That's right. I have no hidden agenda at this point. Well, his entire purpose is moot, I would say. If I had to explain myself, I'd say it's simply personal principle that I repay my debts. Okay. For the time being, at least, I'll take your word that you'll cooperate with the investigation. I mean, you did kind of full side this entire time. That would save a lot of time. Yeah, for all of us. I'm sorry. You can forget everything I just told you. All right. Well, how's your sister doing? I need to see her. I'll take him in myself. Okay. I won't try to claim that everything will turn out perfectly for you. Hmm. So you might still need me to turn myself in, huh? But I would bet this case will reach its natural conclusion. No. In fact, I swear that this will be properly settled. Okay. Well, I'll take your word for it, Sai. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, hey Makoto. How's it going? Mm hmm Well, I do too. I just got done talking to your sister. Oh, sure. Well, I think it, if I had spent time trying to romance others, I would have gotten other options, but... I get to spend time with my girlfriend. Why not? It's Christmas Eve. Yeah. Oh, you're already in Shibuya. Okay. Yeah. The place where she once blackmailed me. Sorry about this. Actually... No, it's not where I was playing now, and why are they- Well, of course, the people who work at the Maid Cafe got, got homes to go to, too. It's okay, and it's okay, Makoto. I know it's a special day, but that's also why I wanted to see you. Yeah, I wanted to see you, too. Just wish your sister told me where you were. Yeah, I wanted to see you also. Honestly, you always have that charm ready. Well, it comes naturally. But, thanks. No problem. It's just about time for dinner, so why don't we find a place to eat? Mm, sure. Okay, let's go. Alright. Oh, uh... Perhaps we should hold hands? Come to think of it... Uh, well, it is a cold Christmas Eve, so... Wanna bundle up? Do you wanna hold hands? Oh, sure. Finally. I can't believe we couldn't find a single table. Well, it is Christmas Eve. I imagine restaurants would be packed. At least we can try to get a cake here, but even this place is so crowded. Yeah, it's not like they're going to let the people who saved the world cut in line. Well, it's long as I'm with you. Thank you. I feel the same way. I do too. Wait, focus. We've got <laughs> cake to buy. Yeah. Let's get going. Uh huh. Yeah. <sighs> it doesn't look like I have anything. Well, it looks like. Mm, yeah, they're sold out. Maybe we'd better find another place. Uh huh. You're not in the market for a Christmas cake, are you? What, do you have any left? Uh, oh, um, <laughs> we are, actually. Ah, fantastic! What, you got one left? One of our orders was cancelled last minute. Oh, okay. You're kidding. It's a Christmas miracle! I guess it's your lucky night. So, do you want to buy it? Yes. Well, if it's really alright. It is. Then, yes, we'll take it. Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. Okay, thank you. 
I'm honestly stunned. This kind of thing never happens, right? Well, yeah, everything's coming up Millhouse now. And yeah, say your goodies paint sure. off. We'll go with that. Yeah, we saved the world. We deserve a break. It's so good. Yeah, it's so tasty. Yeah, it's great Christmas. Right? Yeah. Maybe it was a good thing all the restaurants turned us away. Well, yeah, I get to go home, have cake with my girlfriend. Christmas Eve. Oh, right. Yeah. Here, before I forget, I got you a present. Oh, you did? Oh, man. So sweet of you. And I get a wristwatch. I have to say, um... My life's gotten a lot more unpredictable since I met you. Well, <laughs> well, considering before you placed all your trust in a doll's dead. Well, at least the principal didn't deserve to be trusted. But, but we got through everything so far. And it's made me realize I wouldn't want it any other way. Well, I wouldn't want it any other way either. I mean... My life got flipped upside down just standing up to Shido the first time. I thought you might like this watch. Just in case we, uh, lose track of time together. Oh, thank you, baby. I'll take good care of it. Too. It's really nothing fancy, but I'm glad you like it. Well, it came from you, so of course I'm going to like it. Oh, wait. Don't move. Uh, sup? Is there something on my jacket? <laughs> oh. You had some cream on your nose. How did that even get there? I don't know. <laughs> I usually don't laugh this much on Christmas. I mean, normally it's just you and your sister, but... But I guess it's... Not just the holidays. Well, yeah, we saved the world together. Me, you, our friends. Meeting you has helped me see so much humor. Even excitement in the most trivial things. Well, I kind of got you out. Well, kind of got you out of your comfort zone. You helped me find so many new experiences beyond the life I'd known. Yeah, there's more than, more than life than just what you know. It's also, the things you don't know and haven't discovered yet. Thank you. I should be thanking you, Makoto. For spending Christmas with me. And for loving me. Yeah, I love you too. No, oh, you. <laughs> I think I'm making her flesh. Oh, look. Wait, is it snowing? It's yeah. so beautiful. The snow must have picked up after we got back. Well, uh, yeah, it's a good thing we got home. Might get a few inches. And... And snow also. Coming back to LeBlanc really was the smart move. Now, we get to enjoy the view. Yeah, I'm enjoying it too. I didn't know I could be this happy. It almost doesn't feel real. Well, it's real. It's damn real. You're right. It's just so different from how things used to be. Uh-huh. Hey, it's getting pretty bad out there. As much snow is bound to stop the train schedules. Well, you can stay tonight with me, baby. Hope you don't mind, but I'll be staying a little longer. All right, well, your sister's going to be busy questioning Keshi, so we don't have to get a hold of her right away. Aww. Aww, so this is the point where I would have gotten a pause scene. Oh, Akechi did what? Well, first off, I want to address the question's gone down to 50%, so it's 
feeling like things came back to normal, but yeah, Cashy turned himself in. He turned himself into the police. Sis told me yesterday. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so now everyone's finding out about Akechi turning He's himself admitted in. admitted to being the perpetrator behind the recent cases. Mm -hmm, that would help, too. Help us out. Yeah, he's doing the right thing. For so once. He's alive. Yeah, somehow. But Ketchy couldn't survive, didn't owned up to what he did. Hmm. Well, well, that's good. I feel it's for the best. Yeah, for all of us, and in a way, we kind of changed Akechi's heart, also. If Akechi-kun is alive, and he can atone for his crimes, that's not a bad turn of events. Yeah, it's good for us, too. Right. Yeah, and that finally gets off the hook for Akumara. Ain't that all stuff to be happy about? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Christmas. We should enjoy the day to our heart's content. Yeah. I approve. Let everyone be merry to the max. Yeah, I've been building up my merriness, merriness stats just throughout this adventure. I'm the one who should be giving permission, you know. Well, you should be merry too, Sojiro. It's well, Christmas. As long as you don't go overboard, I guess you can go ahead and cut loose today. Well, okay. Hell yeah! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Ryuji. The pop too soon for the popper. He didn't hear a word of that. Mm, nah. <sighs> Fine. Ah, wow, something for everyone. Oh my, this is quite a sight. Mm hmm. I'm going to be entirely honest. I wasn't able to bring a dish. Well, we kind of know your financial situation, Yusuke. That's why you brought extra. Instead, leave the dishwashing duties to me. I'll make sure they turn out beautifully immaculate. Hmm. Why don't we all just clean up together? Yeah, kind of be like a final adventure. Cleaning the dishes is... is its own palace. So, who brought what? I brought that marinated seafood. Ah. Oh, that's super good! Oh, uh, glad you like it, Ryuji. It may not be to everyone's tastes, but I brought that cheese plate. Oh. oh. Whoa! Ryuji's just gonna eat everything before any of us get a chance to. <laughs> that Willy. It smells like dirty socks. Well, cheese is supposed to smell. Oh. <laughs> Mmm! Oh, but it tastes great! Well, what'd you expect? Haru's a woman of a refined taste. Thank goodness. Oh, is this a croquembouche? It's so cute! Ah. I made that all by myself. Wow! Well, it does look pretty good, on. All I did was buy some cream puffs and stack them up, though. Aw. Well, you did put in the effort of stacking them up. It's been arranged so artistically that I hesitate to sample it. When it comes to sweets, On truly has us beat. Well, she does have a pretty good sweet tooth. But then, who brought this box over here? Yeah. Ooh, this looks like more sweets. Not mine, by the way. Oh. Uh... Yeah, what's in the box? Me? Kinda. Ah, oh, well, underst understand. Thanks, Ryuji. Ryuji brought sweets? Ryuji and sweets? Yeah, normally you get some, get some meat. Sweets. Hey, what are you guys getting at? Yeah. It was just a bit unexpected, is all. Oh, they were expecting you to bring nothing. I I expected something along the lines of meat. For some reason, chicken comes to mind when I think of you. I tend to think he likes beef. Ryuji, chicken. Um, I'm so 
sorry. I didn't mean that in any sort of comparative way. Futaba definitely meant it. Please don't keep going. It just hurts even more. Alright, we'll stop. Yeah, you're not tricking at all. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Yeah, I heard. Come on, don't get all depressed. Everyone's here to party. I mean, you did show your bravery during this adventure. Uh, what is it, Futaba? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Morgana's not here with us. Yeah, let's just... Let's just pour one out for our... For our kitty cat friend who was also made of the host of all humanity. I was trying my best not to mention it, but it's hard to avoid. Well, yeah, Morgana's been a part of our lives for months, and isn't here to share this moment. If only Mona could be here with us. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Someone Morgana? For me? <gasps> Morgana made it! Yeah, we were just talking about... Oh! Yeah. Wait, what? what? Hey, I thought you disappeared! Yeah, when the metaverse disappeared, thought you would too! Looks like the only me that disappeared was the one in the metaverse. Oh uh, yeah, so... <sighs> Look, I'm just glad you're back, Morgana. So, you stayed in reality as a cat? Yeah. I was out in Shibuya looking like this. Oh, well... I know you'd be alive, well, let's I for you. I back here right away, but it took a surprising amount of time. Well, you're a cat. It would take a long time for a cat to walk across town. If you were coming back here, you should have told us, moron! <laughs> we were so worried. Yeah, we missed you. Sheesh. <laughs> well, I brought my own surprise back, too. Oh, you got delivery. I brought some fried chicken. This doesn't have anything to do with your conversation earlier, though. Oh, it's just pure coincidence. <laughs> Any room left on the table? Oh, now there's our chief for ya. Yeah, there's always plenty of room. Everything falling into place. Uh huh. Come on, let's get started. We're gonna party to celebrate our hard work and my grand return. Well, uh, yeah. We're just glad to have you back. Push your luck. <laughs> Futaba's still mad that Morgana didn't let her know he was coming back. <laughs> and things are finally back to normal. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, they're still. <laughs> yeah, the whole game's together. How's it? Oh, that's why I got a call. Oh, hey, Jan. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, that's why you got a photo. Oh. Um, Haro and Makoto with the Santa hats. Futaba. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's a reindeer. I think it can't be a hoodie because a hoodie would be attached to the coat. Well, the reindeer hat, I'll just say. Mm-hmm. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Morgana's happy, too. Oh, and... Oh! Thanks, Butava. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah, he's family. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Sojiro's our dad. Futaba's my sister. <laughs> oh. Hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you were the biggest surprise. Oh, we're glad you're back too. And of course, there's. 
Oh, there's this part. Alright, so things are steady in popularity. And we jump to the day before New Year's Eve. Yeah. So, what are we going to do? Oh, okay. That sounds nice. Hmm. Oh, so Sojiro's planning this out. Well, I would say your sister's part of this. Oh. Oh, yeah, we need Kasumi here, too. Well, yeah, back at Sai's Palace. Kind of wish they got. Kind of wish the game let us have her do something when the Phantom Thieves vanish from existence, but. I'm sure there's production reasons for it. Oh! Well, it, thanks for volunteering me, Futaba. Oh, well, it makes sense I would be the only one of us who knows how to get a hold of her. Yeah. A year-end party, huh? I'm already excited! Well, yeah. Oh, let's invite Yoshizawa right away! Yeah, I'm sure she'll want to join us. Well, since she's seen her senpai. Thank you for inviting me. Although, I admit, I feel a bit like I'm intruding. Well, you did help us out a, a month ago, Kasumi. There's no need for modesty. After all we've been through, there are no strangers here. Well, yeah. And besides, you probably haven't met, met Sai yet. Sai, this is Kasumi. Kasumi, this is Sai. Yeah, you really helped him out too. Mm hmm. In that case, I'll accept your offer. Well, you are part of the group. Yo, I really can't stop staring at that thing you're wearing. Well, uh, certainly. It certainly speaks uh, at a high volume. <laughs> so it's caught your eye as well. Did you blow your money on that? It happened to catch mine while I was strolling through the city. Isuke. Things like this are why you're always broke. I bought it for myself as a reward for the end of the year. Oh. Not for saving the world? That would be a good reason, but... What do you think? About the scarf? One, how much, and two, how many meals are we paying for you again? Well, certainly unique. Never seen a scarf like that before. <laughs> You've recognized its unique beauty as well. Oh. I'd say it's a little too unique. Mm -hmm. This fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's gonna get soggy on you. Yeah, best eat now. Uh, yes, my apologies. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the food. It's chat yeah. time. Yeah, just don't get any on that scarf. You'll ruin it. Mmm, so good. Mm hmm Sakura-san, you made these noodles yourself, right? Uh, yeah. They're amazing! You could open a soba restaurant! Yeah, but I think he prefers coffee and curry. Oh, thanks. Of course, he could always expand. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill... Seconds, please! Oh! How fast uh, do you eat? Well, Kasumi burns through a lot of calories through her gymnastics, so she tends to eat a lot to keep up. You eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do, Yoshizawa-san. Well, she is an athlete. I don't know if that fully explains what's happening here. Um, Senpai, yeah. don't kid them so much. My oh, okay. appetite's totally normal. <laughs> Breaking news on our top story. Oh, yeah. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. Oh, yeah. The Shido case. They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. Oh, right. Finally some progress on the case. It's finally happening. Yeah. Congratulations, son. 
I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Akashi. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. Uh, what's that? And that would be? Yeah, just one. The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. Oh, so there's even greater evidence against Shido now. I can't say for certain yet. Would that mean that my probation would finally end because the the key witness had falsified her testimony? But his criminal record may very well be overturned. Oh yeah, providing false testimony would lead to would lead to wrongful for real? charge. Well, yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> Congratulations, senpai. Uh, don't congratulate me yet. I'm still under probation. Of course, this is highly confidential. Got it? Got it. What oh, great news! Uh huh. Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. Oh yeah. This is incredible. It's an actual real life good ending. Well, yeah. Who knew? And after that, the two-hour New Year's special of Tokyo Vice. Oh, who's the special guest star for that a one? thrilling tale, jam-packed with some of the network's most famous faces. What? I'll never give up! Hm. I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Uh, who is that? Oh yeah, he's a model turned actor. Oh yeah, and that's what you were wanting to do, right on? With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. Oh. Well, you know. He's popular, eh? Yeah. If I were more like that human, maybe Lady On would... What? Uh, Morgana, you're a cat. The year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how people are spending it all across the country. Alright, well, we're at LeBlanc having a soba. Now that I'm thinking about it, hell of a lot sure did happen this year. Well, yeah, and this is the year we all got together, and somehow, by changing hearts one at a time, we changed them all. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? Hmm. Well, I one. I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. Hmm, unless you play Persona 5 Strikers or Persona Q2. Well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. Oh, well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> and I guess starting next year, we'll just be good boys and girls at school. Yeah, Makoto and Haru will be good girls at college. If that's the case, then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, right? Well, Makoto won't be there to help... Well, Makoto and Haru won't be there to remind you. Please don't go there, senpai. Can't do it alone. I mean, what do I even do as an honor student? <sighs> so much has happened over the past 12 months. Yeah. Think about it. I came here, dealt with Kanashida, Matarame, Kanashiro, changed Futaba's heart. <sighs> There's. Sorry, Haru, about your dad. Changed Sai's heart for better. Took down a politician and saved the world from a, from a god. But in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Well, yeah, the year we all came together and met each other. Yeah. Maybe the best year. But I feel like next year is going to be even better for us. Hmm, you think so? I feel the exact same way. How strange. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end-of-year celebration. Well, uh, yeah. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight. And this crowd is... Is what? I really don't want to get going, but it seems like it's time. Alright. Well, later, Sai. See you next year, right? Well, yeah. Technically, yes. Next year? Mm-hmm. Sojiro, Oseji time! Get those New Year's dishes ready! Chop chop! And don't forget the black beans! 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh. The food. You just go have a good night's sleep. Okay, I'm guessing that's a traditional first meal for Futaba. Uh, Happy New Year, on. Yeah. Yeah, let's make this year a good one also. Well, it was yesterday, Yusuke. Hmm, what you got in mind? What mochi eating contest? Yeah, and besides, Kasumi would win that one hands down. Yeah, as long as we're together. What? Why not tomorrow? Aww. Okay, well... We'll eventually find a day where we'll all get together. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing where... Hey, don't tell this to the others, okay? Mm-hmm, I won't. But... Even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious. Oh, okay. Well, and being yeah, separated from all of you was really scary. Yeah, we. Yeah, we kind of gone through our emotions of losing you. I mean, saving the world meant losing you. And. I thought, if it's even a little bit possible, I wanted to come home to you guys. Glad you did, Morgana. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. Yeah, the group wouldn't be the same without you. Yes. We I went to here. That's what you want. Uh, yeah. Well, it's pretty late. Let's get to yeah. sleep. All right. Well, I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this. I hope so too, Morgana. Friends to the end. Uh, what? What am I doing here? Yeah, I'm in my prison clothes and. Looks like a doctor's office. What? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get back. What's going on here? Yeah. Yeah, I can't run or anything. First floor. Meets alongside everyone else on the team, and eventually I get a hold of some scholarships for college to make things easier for my mom. Yeah, but whose voice is it? All right, so yeah, it's not going to let me walk up the stairs. Wait, that light, butterfly. Is that Lavenza? Yeah, maybe I should have followed this butterfly. I would have gotten to enjoy my time in high school with Shiho. Wait, that was Ahn's voice, so the first voice I heard must have been Ryuji's. Mimiko's voice because that was just Haru's voice right there. Hmm. 
Hey, wait a minute. We're outside of school? Wait a minute. Who? Who is that? Going home. Yeah. What do you mean? Except it what? What exactly was going on? Yeah. So I was in my prison clothes and everything. It, oh, we're on New Year's Day and our probably shot straight down. Good morning. Oh, morning, Kasumi. How's it going? Uh, technically, yes, but you're worth waking up for. Yeah, how'd you know? Um. Oh, well, it must have been a tone of my voice. Oh, yeah. Are you there now? Oh, of course. But, well, yeah, I was already looking I'm forward so to it. Aw. Well, yeah, the crowd should die down and we can do this more peacefully. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be okay. Okay. I... Oh, hey, Sojura. Alright. Hey, Kasumi. Uh, sure, Sojiro. Sorry to make work your first activity in the new year. Oh, why is it you want me to do, Sojiro? Oh, that reminds me. Look, I got plans. New Year. Well, thanks, Sojiro. But again, I got plans for the afternoon. And Happy New Year to you, too. I hope you'll continue getting along with Futaba and myself. Well, of course. You're my dad, and Futaba's my sister. We're especially grateful you're open today. Aw. Uh, well, I don't know many places that would be closed on New Year's. You know how everything on TV for New Year's is the same old, same old. Well, you should try coming to America. We have football on. Every New Year. Say, boss, don't you have any plans for this morning? Well, yeah. I could cook some up, so long as you serve yourself everything and pay your bill on the way out. Oh, okay. Ah, right. <laughs> Can't exactly make plans when you've already got customers. Uh huh. How about you, young man? Are you going to the shrine for the new year? Oh yeah, I'm already got plans for that. That's a wise choice. Uh huh. Happy New Year. That's what you say today, right? Wait, aren't you the actor who was on Tokyo Vice? It's nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Uh, Wait, what are you talking about? Are you still half asleep or something? Nope. Oh, hey, Futaba. What bam? Ah. Oh, oh, looking sharp. Yeah, I haven't seen you like that before, Futaba. Oh, you look absolutely lovely, Futaba-chan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My mom. Wait. Your mom. But your mom's not around anymore. She passed away. Well, she died some time ago because of Shido and Akeshi. Sorry, I don't want to be late to the shrine. More showing off comes later. Well, okay. Time to make like a tree. All right. The year's first shrine visitor. What do you think we should do? Yeah. Well, perhaps we don't need to go this year. 
We don't yeah. have any more wishes that need granting. Oh, so you got everything you want. Oh, sooner? Okay. Uh, I think you've just been lucky. Alright, well. What's up? I beg. Do you have plans for today or something? Well, yeah. Gotta go to the. Yeah, I made a promise to a friend. Come on, you should have just said as much then. I'll be fine here, so off you go. Oh, but okay. it's pretty cold out there, so don't forget to dress warm so you don't catch a bug. Okay, I will. Later, Sojiro. Yeah, where is Morgana? Yeah, I gotta go. Oh, the tw oh, there's Kasumi. Senpai! <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kasumi, how you been? Um, do I look weird? No. <laughs> Sorry for the short notice. I couldn't okay. send you a New Year's card, so here we are. Well, shall we? Of course. <sighs> I wonder why. There aren't many people here at all. Yeah. It's really unexpected. I'd almost prefer the usual crowd. Yeah, and the end of the year was just a few hours ago. Mm -hmm. Believe it or don't, only 364 <laughs> days until the next one. That is oh. true. I know I'm going to use the wrong ear for a while. Well, I have an idea. New Year's party tonight to help switch <laughs> gears? Huh? Didn't expect you two here. <laughs> oh, how's it? Wow, well, surprised to get to meet up again. How many coincidences can there be in one day? Well, yeah, it's nice to meet everyone again. What, one? And a good morn unto you all. I haven't seen you in absolute ages. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we were hanging out just yesterday. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess we all had plans to drop by here first thing today, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, I already made that promise to Kasumi, so... That would explain what led us to the shrine, but to this spot at the exact same time? Yeah, it seems like a weird coincidence. Talk about incredible happenstance. Mm-hmm. Indeed, but due to this fortuitous turn of fate, yeah, I am able to witness this mesmerizing sight. Truly, the embodiment of Japanese beauty. Yeah, Makoto sure is. But I think you might have been talking about the temple. About the temple. What are you doing, Kitagawa Senpai? He does this. He loves taking in the beauty of a moment. Just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, what do you want to do after this? Yeah. Got the time for it. Why don't we grab something to eat together? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. Uh, oh, family? I know it's just you and Sai, but... I have somewhere to be as well. Oh, where you're going, Yusuke. Me too. I'll be dining with my father somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. Father? Haru, your father died about three months ago. How can you be dining with him unless you're going to his grave to eat? I'm gonna hit up some New Year's sales with my mom. Yeah, it seems strange. Futaba's going to sail with her mom, who's dead. Haru's going to going to be spending time spending time with her dad, who's also dead. Well, looks like you're all busy. Hmm. Huh. Should hit up the track team and see what they're up to. Wait, Ryuji? On the track team? What's going on? Two alone is enough to set off the radar, but three? I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans yet. Oh. Uh, huh. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll all just go to our own thing then. Okay, well, later everyone. See you later. Yeah. Looks like it's just us now. Well, yeah. 
Anything you want to talk about? Oh, I was wondering earlier, what did you wish for at the Shrine, Senpai? Well, I feel like I got everything I wanted, but... Uh, I... Now there's a classic wish. But I think it's a wonderful choice. Um, what was your wish? Me? Yeah. Well... Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Alright. Is that your dad? Hmm? It's from my dad. Oh, it was. Uh, is he worried about you? He's telling me that some relatives have come over to the house, so I have to go home and spend some time with them. Uh, okay, well... Careful, Kasumi. He decided to come all the way out to the station to get me. My family's kind of serious about their get-togethers. Oh, yeah. I get that. Well... Well, we'll, we'll see each other again sorry. soon. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least allow me to accompany you to the station. Well, okay. You should hold on to your sleeve. That is your dress kimono, after all. Aw, oh, so... That's your dad. Hi, Mr. Yoshikawa. Now, who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. Well, I'm her friend. This is my senpai. Uh, only because I'm in a higher grade than her. The one I told you about before? My senpai who's done so much for me. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, so you're her senpai. My daughter talks about you all the time. Oh, wow. D Dad, not all the time. <laughs> Just most of the time. Is that not so? Oh, he's wearing the glasses you got him earlier. I was told you picked these out for me too. Well, yeah. I know it's pretty late for it, but thank you all the same. Aw, oh, well, you're welcome. It does look good on you. Dad wears them all the time, even at work. Oh. I'm quite the fan of them. Well, I'm sure he is because you got a got a form of Kasumi. Well, shall we get going? Alright. What? What was what was that? Hmm? Something wrong? Yeah. Uh, no. Nothing. Yeah. Then, senpai, please excuse us. Mm. All right. Well, obviously something strange is going on. Yeah. Yeah. It seems strange that Morgana's not here. Yeah, what was the question on the fan site? Mm. Well, technically, we you can have your first dream of the year while you're asleep when the day changes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, what kind? Oh, yeah, that would provide some good dreams. Yeah, they found a the time to do it. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know how specific for you, Gene. Oh, uh, yeah. Mount Fuji, a hawk, and an eggplant. Huh. <laughs> well, yeah. Singular. Alright, well. Yeah, it seems strange. Ryuji's on the track team. Futaba's mom's alive. Haru's dad is alive. 
Yeah. Just gotta figure out what it is. Oh, the question is, would you join the Phantom Thieves? That's what changed. Yeah, what? Hmm. Yeah, who's... What? Uh, what's up? Uh, who? Wait a minute, you're the guy from Tokyo Vice. How did you get here? Yeah. Who am I? Yeah, you're the one who's in my room. Sleeping on my bed. Hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. Well, a lot of weird things have been going on. What's going on? That's what I want to know. Are you two still sleeping? Your lunch is going to pull a vanishing act if you don't come down soon. Man, who was that? That wasn't Futaba, and it wasn't any of our party members, so... Ooh. Oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in a sec. Look, I need some explanations as to what's going on. What? These beans are the best! Yeah, but I thought you were going to have those yesterday, Futaba. They're all perfectly shaped and so shiny. Wait a minute. Is that Wakaba? You were supposed to be dead! How are you alive? Looks like your recipes have reached housewife level quality. You trying to get hitched sometime soon? Who, Futavo or Sojiro? <laughs> Thanks, but no. Oh, it's Sojiro. Hey, come join us. Well, I need some explanation as to what's going on here. Try the sweet black beans, they'll change your life! Good morning. Good morning. Wait, Sphinx Lady? Oh, is this your first gag of the new year? No, you were cognition of Futaba's mom. <laughs> Trunk on the spirit of the new year already, huh? Well, I'm still remembering the stuff from last year, Futaba. I warn you not to try any pranks with Wakaba. Well, this is a prank to me. Wakaba's supposed to be dead. It'll only blow up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally bores herself. Hmm. You know me too well. Yeah. Hmm. Wakaba. Yeah, Wakaba's no not Wakaba supposed to be alive. So fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Yeah, something is definitely going on. Yeah. What's up? Not feeling so good? She's well. been like this since yesterday. And again, who are you? Wait, Mona. You're our you're our cat buddy? Morning. Do you think there's enough oh. Osechi for me to join you? Wait, Morgana? What's that a question? Of course I'm me. I mean, I know you wish you could be human so you can get close to Lady On, but... Seriously, are you alright? I am. I just want to know what's going on here. Okay, that's enough joking around for now. Go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hmm. hungry. Alright, this goes on any longer, I might have to... Food. Well, you're welcome, but if this goes on any longer, I might have to split this into two episodes. There's a lot to process here. I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. Well, it's probably been years since you were last alive. I'm stuffed too. Mm -hmm. If only I had something to cap off this meal. Like a cup of coffee? Well, they'll probably ask me to do it. Boy, that was a subtle request. Mm -hmm. Oh, does anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up. My treat. All right. You want a Mont Blanc, right, Mom? Again, I need to know why. Thank you. Why and how Wakaba is alive? All right, I shall return. Okay. Careful. All right. Yeah. 
That's what I'm wondering. What's the matter? Uh, you're supposed to be dead. That's what's wrong. And Cashy out of jail? I mean, he just turned himself in and confessed a week ago. But then he... I mean, normally the stuff he commit would deny him bail. But... Sorry, we haven't opened for the day yet. My apologies. I merely wish to speak with him for a moment. Well, look, okay. Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? All right. For you. you mean you'll eat my dessert while I'm away? You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll suspect it was an inside job. Well, I'm pretty suspicious of things already. I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Uh huh. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the coffee. You know, don't you? Well, I think I got some of the pieces together, I just don't know everything yet. We have to discuss this. Oh, so you're realizing things aren't the same either. Make you remember? That's right. Just like you seem to be. Yeah, we might be the only ones. Come on. Alright. Uh, it's also in a prison uniform, so... Could this be done for the Velvet Room? Well then, let's try to sort through this situation. Yeah, no one should be able to hear us in the laundry room. The dryers should be loud enough to cover up our, our conversation. Yeah, what's happening around here? That seems as good a place to begin as any. Well, uh, yeah. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? Well, yeah. I'm still wondering how you're alive, though. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, when we last saw you... Well, technically, we didn't see you die, but... version of myself. So yeah, back to the events of Shido's Palace. We have greater concerns right now. In fact, I'm a bit offended you think so little of me that you expected me to be dead. Oh well, I had sneaking suspicion, but I wanted confirmation first. Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. Oh. Well, I was Obviously, dead. I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. Huh. Well, that does sound strange. I mean, if I figured they would lock you up for... <clears throat> on multiple murder charges, conspiracy... But you get released for... They let you walk. That does seem strange. I was acquitted of all charges. It's absolutely preposterous. Yeah, they wouldn't just let you go like just like that. More than that, it should be impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. Hmm. But what's yeah. even more unbelievable to me is what is more unbelievable? I mean, both of these are equally unbelievable. Wakaba's dead, and Morgana's a human. But I think because we're talking to Akashi, Wakaba might be the one that... That might be trigger something. That's right. Wakaba Ishiki. Yeah, she should be dead, and you should know you're the one that killed her. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. Yeah. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. Well, I had this weird dream. Did you have one too? I should get to the point. Mm-hmm. Alright. Let's make a deal. Well, you seem to be in the deal-making business. Let's say we join forces on this. Well, 
for right now we're the only ones who seem to know what's going on. What would we do to- I want to investigate what exactly is happening here. Oh yeah. I'm fairly we're certain you wish to find out the same thing, no? Well, I do, but you betrayed me the last time I put my trust in you. For the time being, you and I share the same goal. Well, we do have the same- We did the last time, too, and you betrayed us. Of course, we saw your betrayal coming. But... To solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? Yeah, we- We're- We seem to be the only ones who know what's going on. Have you made up your mind? So, hmm. Technically, I still have the choice to say no, but the dialogue options don't have that. And I, I don't want to seem hopeless about this situation, but right now, we're the only ones who know what's, something's up. First, I need information. Well, Wakaba's alive, Morgana's a human. Akumra is alive somehow. Can you tell me what happened after parting ways with me in Shido's palace. We killed God. I see. Mm -hmm. We changed the world's hearts. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the New Year. Well, yeah, that seems strange enough. And all of the Phantom Thieves, with you as the sole exception are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait a minute. Okay. Alright. Senpai, it's Yoshizawa. Oh, hey, Tsumi, how's it going? I'm in Odaiba right now, and, uh... Uh, what is it? What's happened? Um, I don't really understand what I'm seeing, but I'm just going to describe it to you. Okay. It's that building. Wait, are you talking about the... Are you talking about the stadium where... Where you would go to get inspiration for your Genesis career? It's really faint, but I can see that palace thing that Morgana-senpai mentioned a while ago. Oh. Yeah. Senpai, I know this is sudden, but could you come to Odaiba right away? Well, sure. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'll see you soon. Alright, later. That was Yoshizawa-san's voice, wasn't it? How'd you know? I heard her say the word palace. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think she spotted one. Despite not being in the metaverse. Yeah, that's... You're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, uh, yeah. I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. Yeah. Now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? Well, if Kasumi's suspecting things, we might not be the only ones who who weren't affected by this. Whatever's going on. Oh, man, that lies up right. Senpai! And... Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a big surprise to me, too. We just happened to be together when he got your call. Yeah, it was pure coincidence. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Yeah, we need to figure out what's going on. Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Well, he does have more experience than I do. I'll just put it that way. Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? So you can use most. Well, I know you were able to use two personas. Really? Does that mean you're also? Well, oh, I need to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, just like you, except he betrayed us and you didn't. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Well, she just started. Well, he is one also. I mean, you can tell him it's safe. Yes, 
I can use a persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. Well, uh, she didn't join us, so... I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. Yeah, about three months ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? Yeah, I mean, it was there three months ago, so... Maybe it was never dealt with. I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Yeah, I mean, when we changed the hearts of the world through mementos... I'm guessing this one was too strong to disappear, as it's already been established. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Yeah, so far, Kasumi can see it, and I've been there before. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Hmm, well... Yes, that's exactly it. Yeah, it kind of fades in and out. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seem to care at all about its appearance. Well, uh, yeah. Hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. Oh, so we're going to explore a palace already. You mean, we should go into the palace? Well, yeah. Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. Yeah. I realize I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Well, yeah, I mean... Futaba's mom's alive, Morgana's a human... Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? Ah, oh, so we're going to sneak in. That is, if we have the means to do so. I mean... The, the Menanav disappeared around the time we saved the world. Would it have popped back up? Oh, it's... Oh, it, it's bad, but it looks different. I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the nav. Yeah, that's weird. I have it as well. All right, so yeah, let's go in. Search history. Well? Search history. How do I check? Ah, there's oh. one search in the log, but what is it? Yeah, that's strange. Normally we know whose palace we're entering before going in, but we were able to get in three months ago without knowing who it was. Ugh. The name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. Yeah, it must, it must contain a curse word or offensive language or something. Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? That's also possible. Does that mean we can't enter the palace? We were able to enter it before without without the name of the ruler. Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. Well, yeah, we know it's there. We've been there before. In, would you be willing to bring me with you? Well, of course. I put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. Well, yeah, that was I three months ago. I slow you down. Well, if anything, you'll help speed it up. What's your call? Well... We gotta infiltrate. That settles it. Mm-hmm. The three of us together. All right. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Even a different entrance, so... Now that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. Mm-hmm. Can yeah. this building even be? Yeah, and just notice Keshi's in his ever form. It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. Mm hmm We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Well, yeah. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Sure of it. By the way, um... Oh, by the way, Kasumi, we... We each have code names, and I'm Joker, and this is Crow. What's the matter? I mean, he does look different than you're accustomed to. Well, I'm not sure how to put it. Yeah. Yeah, choosing that one instead of your other? Well, yeah, he's got two outfits. He's got two different personas. Oh, you mean this old thing? Yeah. Yoshizawa-san aside, 
There's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. Yeah, he's pretty evil. Enough chatting. Let's move out. Mm. Well, I'm sure we'll get more about Akeshi soon, but... Yeah, I... I'm gonna call it an episode here, so... Next time, we'll investigate this mysterious new palace. So, until then... I want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. So until then, stay safe, be kind to each other, and treat your personas with love, care, and respect. Thanks, everyone.